I've driven many cars down this canyon run. Drove an AMG, I think it was an E63, and that thing handles so well. I've driven a Z06. This thing right here, I mean, let's go again. Let's go again. All right, here we go. We're about to go on a little POV canyon run. I'm not gonna show you too much of the car because the car is filthy. It's been raining a lot. So uh, let's just get right to it. Let's find out how good the handling is on this 2020 BMW F82 M4 competition. Manual M4 competition. Let you get a little sound of the exhaust. It is still stock, but don't worry, we have something coming for that very, very soon. Okay, that's regular. That's with the valves closed. Let's open them up. You know we gotta go Sport Plus everything on this. Not too shabby, not too bad for a stock car, you know? All right, let's do this. We do got an auto cross event coming up, so we're really gonna test the handling on this car. But right now will be a good uh, little test out here on a canyon run. That's what I got this car for. This car is known for its ability to handle, especially the competition package. So we're gonna put it to the test. sounds so crazy right now driving this like a little kid or something 
This thing is insane. I used to take my scat pack down this road and oh my God, like I used to have fun with it, but nothing compared to this. I've driven a 1LE down this road and granted that wasn't my car, so I didn't go as, you know, as much as I am right now. I didn't push it as much because I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be disrespectful to the owner of that vehicle. But this thing, when I tell you, I feel like I have like total control. You could check the videos, you know, I've, I've driven many cars down this canyon run. Um, I drove an AMG, I think it was an E63. Uh, and that thing handles so well. I've driven a Z06. This thing right here, I mean, let's go again. Let's go again. expression all right let's try this road down here and then we'll come back and do that one more time let me know if you guys like the sound better with the window down or the window up and just so you guys know the numbers you see on the screen, that is kilometers per hour. It's not miles per hour. We do abide by the law in everything we do on this channel. Just a disclaimer for everybody. Woo. If it looks otherwise, you know, things are highly edited on YouTube. That's something you should know. fun but I think I much prefer when I could you know use the handling a little more than that it's almost scary you know like you got to be careful because it gives you so much confidence when you're turning you just feel like you could turn going as fast as you want and you know obviously that's not the case so really I'm still getting used to this thing you know I'm still not fully pushing it because I don't know the full capabilities of what this thing could do As I said, we do have an autocross event coming up very soon in the next couple weeks where we're going to be able to test this thing out against a whole bunch of different type of vehicles. I'm sure there's going to be some more BMWs there. Usually there's some Porsches, uh, some Teslas, some Type Rs, you know, so that's going to be very fun and I look forward to that a lot. 
All right, one more time down this road. Let's see what this thing can really do. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Like I said before, I didn't go as hard in the other cars as I did in this one because this is my car. But let me know if you guys want to see, you know, uh, we'll get the one LE out here again maybe. Um, we'll get some different vehicles, but wow. This thing, the competition package, lives up to its name. If you guys want to see this thing in action, you know, against the scat pack, against other different vehicles, make sure you check this video out. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Subscribe for more content if you enjoy. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Salute.